Before you watch this video please subscribe our channel this will help us for make more videos. In this video we are going to discuss about trend A do input output module complete operation, working principle, technical specification, cable and current consumption details and much more. ADO module the IQ4 IO range of DIN rail mounted IO expansion modules are designed for use with the IQ4E controller, offering additional input and output channel connection points. These modules are also compatible with IQ3 ZIT96 and IQ3 ZIT128 controllers, version 3.10 firmware onwards, and X ZIT IO modules. The IQ4 IO expansion modules require no routine maintenance. Dimensions for 8DO module is, height 116mm, 4.57, width 105mm, 4.13, depth 58.5mm, 2.3. When the 16DI, 8U IO, and 4DO modules of dimensions are also same. Material main body flame retardant polycarbonate y terminal covers flame retardant polycarbonate translucent orange weight 8 do module 0 0.299 kilograms enclosure each iq4 io module is housed in a polycarbonate enclosure with a complementary styling to the iq4e controller Integral spring clips on the back of the module enable the unit to be clipped onto and quickly released from a standard TS-35 DIN rail. Rotating clear polycarbonate covers provide access for the top and bottom I.O. channel connections. IQ4 I.O. modules must be installed in a secondary enclosure with a minimum protective rating of IP20, or equivalent, or mounted outside normal reach, for example in a plenum. A module may be mounted horizontally or vertically but not upside down or on its back. Indicators Various indicators are provided giving feedback on the operational status of the module and its inputs, outputs. General indicators, in center of cover. Power LED glow green color means condition of input power supply. Watchdog LED glow red color means warns of a firmware, strategy fault. I.O. bus LED glow green means status of I.O. bus communication and I.O. bus LED red means including indication of module address and duplicate addresses. Input output indicators, adjacent to the appropriate I.O. terminals and label, visible through rotating terminal covers. Service button. This is a multifunction button located on the front of the module. It can be used to assign an unaddressed module to a strategy module, or next available bus address if a strategy module does not exist. Display the module's address by flashing the I.O. bus indicator, or perform a module reset, in conjunction with a power cycle. Digital input module LED glow yellow color means on, off state of associated input, applies to DI channels and UI or UIO channels in digital input mode. Analog output module LED glow yellow color means light intensity varies with output voltage applies to AO channels and UIO channels in analog output mode. Digital, relay output module LED glow yellow color on, off state of associated input applies to DO channels only. Connectors IO bus, PCB edge connector for use with IQ4 IC link rigid interconnector IQ4 IC ADPT cable adapter, or IQ4 IC term terminator Inputs and outputs, two-part connectors, 0.2 pitch, with rising cage clamp screw terminals Cable size 0.14 to 2.5 square millimeters, 22 to 12 AWG. 
For UL compliance the input power connections must be made using 18 AWG or larger wire rated at least 90 degrees Celsius, 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Relay outputs, two-part connectors, 0.3 pitch, with rising cage clamp screw terminals. Cable size, 0.14 to 2.5 square millimeters, 22 to 12 AWG. For L compliance the input power connections must be made using 18 AWG or larger. Wire rated at least 90 degrees Celsius, 194 degrees Fahrenheit. Input output bus. IQ4 IO modules interconnect with each other and the controller via the IO bus which comprises the following power and signal connections. Plus 24 volt DC, data high, ground, data low, 0 volt. Access to the I.O. bus on the IQ4E controller is via a connecting point located on the right-hand side of the unit. Each IQ4 I.O. module has a similar connecting point on both the left and right-hand side, enabling the bus to be daisy-chained between modules. A short rigid interconnector, IQ4IC link, is available to allow easy connection between adjacent modules. One interconnector is supplied with each I.O. module. Note, rigid interconnectors cannot be used between IQ4 I.O. modules and X-Site I.O. modules or an IQ3 X-Site controller. In such cases a cabled interconnection must be used. Where modules are mounted separately from the controller, or from neighboring I.O. modules, the interconnection may be made using an IQ4 IC ADPT cable adapter. Note, the IQ4 IC ADPT cable adapter includes non-replaceable fuses and transient voltage suppression diodes that protect the I.O. bus from overcurrent and overvoltage conditions caused by electrical transients or incorrect wiring. Cabled interconnections can also be used to link IQ4 I.O. modules with X-Site I.O. modules or an IQ3 X-Site controller. Note, the X-Site I.O. and IQ3 X-Site require a different cable adapter, between modules the I.O. bus may be wired from right to left side, as shown in the figure, right to right or left to left, as long as correct bus polarity is maintained. Spurs are not permitted. Maximum I.O. bus length. Where cabled interconnections are used the maximum I.O. bus length is determined by the recommended cable type and the configuration of controller and modules used. IQ4E controller with IQ4 I.O. modules only, when the cable type is belled in 3084A it covers total bus length up to 100 meters, 109 yards. IQ4E controller with IQ4 I.O. modules only, when the cable type is belled in 7895A it covers total bus length up to 300 meters, 328 yards. Any other combination using X-Site I.O. modules or IQ3 X-Site controller, the cable type is both belled in 3084A and belled in 7895A. It covers total bus length up to 30 meters, 33 yards. Modules. Up to 30 modules can be connected to the I.O. bus, depending on the configuration of controller and modules used. IQ4E controller with IQ4 I.O. modules are connect maximum number of modules is 30. Any combination using X-Site I.O. modules or IQ3 X-Site controller are connect maximum number of modules is 15. 
Note, check that the controller supports the required number of I.O. channels. Electrical Technical Specification Supply Voltage 24 volt DC plus 10 or minus 20% derived from I.O. bus or optional external isolated output power source. Supply Current Dependent on module type and input output usage. Maximum current flow through module on I.O. bus equals 1 amps. Input noise rejection, minimum 60 dB series mode rejection at input power supply frequency. Module power supply. I.O. modules are typically powered from the controller via the I.O. bus. The bus supply is derived from the controller's combined 24 volt DC supply and, therefore, the maximum current available to the I.O. bus depends upon other current demands placed on the controller. The maximum current required by each type of I.O. module is listed here. These values can be used to estimate the total current required by the I.O. bus. 16 DI maximum current consumption is 40 mA when all inputs on. 8 D ohm maximum current consumption is 40 mA when all relays on. 4 D O maximum current consumption is 30 mA when all relays on. 8 U I O and 4 U I O maximum current consumption is 30 mA plus 20 mA per loop powered current input and plus up to 20 mA per analog output. 8 U I maximum current consumption is 25 mA. 8 DI maximum current consumption is 30 mA when all inputs on. 8 AO maximum current consumption is 20 mA plus up to 20 mA per output. Where the total current requirement of the IO bus exceeds the maximum available from the controller, one or more additional 24 volt DC power supplies may be installed. Additional supplies may also be required in the following circumstances. At the end of a long I.O. bus cable run, to prevent voltage drop on the bus supply. Where the current flow through the power line of a module would exceed the maximum of 1 amps, thus requiring the I.O. bus power line to be split or segmented. Additional power supplies. Where it is necessary to install an additional power supply along the I.O. bus, the supply output must be isolated from earth, ground. The supply unit must also comply with the relevant EMC and safety standards. Note, trend offer a range of DING rail mounted auxiliary power supplies that are suitable for this purpose. Where the supply is required the normal 24 volt DC IO bus connection between modules is not made. Instead the supply unit is wired between the 24 volt DC and 0 volt terminals as shown in the figure. Important. The zero volt connection must be made when an external supply is used and the zero volt line must be continuous for the entire length of the IO bus. The standard cable adapter, IQ4 ICADPT, is used to make the connection of external power supply units to the IO bus. The following example shows a number of IO modules split into three groups. The first eight powered from the controller and the remaining two groups of four modules powered from external PSUs. I.O. Module Addressing Each module on the I.O. bus must be assigned a unique address, between 1 and 30. The controller will automatically attempt to match each physical I.O. module with its corresponding strategy I.O. module and set its address accordingly. Module addresses can be configured within the controller strategy, or manually changed using set or the controller's web page interface. Earthing or grounding arrangements. It is important that correct earthing or grounding is provided for the controller and modules on the I.O. bus. The I.O. bus ground is connected to earth or ground via the controller. Modules located within the same secondary enclosure are earthed or grounded via the I.O. bus. Where modules are located in different secondary enclosures or where I.O. bus cables exceed in 1 meter, 39, a local earth or ground connection must be provided. All DIN rails must be earthed or grounded. Disposal. Recycling. 
All plastic and metal parts are recyclable. The printed circuit board may be sent to any PCB recovery contractor to recover some of the components for any metals such as gold and silver. Environmental Ambient Limits Storage, minus 25 degrees Celsius, minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit, to plus 60 degrees Celsius, plus 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Operating, minus 25 degrees Celsius, minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit, to plus 55 degrees Celsius, plus 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Note, for temperatures below 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, special care must be taken that there is no condensation on or within the unit. Humidity, 0 to 90 percent RH non-condensing. Altitude, lesser than 4,000 meters, 13124. Pollution degree, 2, only non-conducting pollution occurs. Protection, IP20. Will we hope this video is useful to you, if you think our videos is helpful to you please like, and share, we will meet in another good video. Thank you for watching our videos.